Have you ever heard of Fowler syndrome, a rare brain disorder? It's a strikingly unique condition, largely due to its genetic dominance and the unusual calcium deposits it causes within the brain. These deposits target areas that control movement, making the syndrome a challenging neurological puzzle. It's not your everyday disease, and its complexity might leave you intrigued. It's a complex condition, isn't it? Let's delve deeper. Fars syndrome is more than just a mouthful of medical jargon. It's a rare genetically dominant neurological disorder. At its core, it's about abnormal deposits of calcium in the brain. These calcium deposits are not random. They specifically target our brain's movement control areas, effectively disrupting our ability to control our movements. This disruption can cause symptoms that mimic those of Parkinson's disease. The onset of this condition typically happens in one's 40s or 50s. While it's a challenging condition, it's crucial to understand it for proper diagnosis and management. Diagnosing Fars syndrome isn't a straightforward process. This rare neurological disorder is characterized by abnormal calcium deposits in the brain, affecting movement control areas. However, these deposits are not always immediately detectable. Physicians often rely on a combination of physical examinations, patient history, and advanced imaging techniques like CT scans or MRIs. Genetic testing can also provide clues, although not all cases of Fars syndrome are hereditary. The challenges in diagnosing Fars syndrome are significant, but not insurmountable. It's a rigorous process, but accurate diagnosis is the first step towards managing this disorder. Fars syndrome doesn't come without warning signs. Like a storm brewing on the horizon, its symptoms gradually manifest, often resembling those of Parkinson's disease. Individuals may experience difficulties with movement control. A consequence of abnormal calcium deposits in the brain. This could translate into tremors, muscle stiffness, or problems with balance and coordination. Cognitive changes are also common, such as memory loss and difficulties with problem solving or decision making. Remember, recognizing these signs early can lead to a more timely diagnosis. Scene script. Fars syndrome is indeed a rare condition. It's a genetically dominant disorder that affects the brain, causing abnormal calcium deposits that impact movement control. While it's difficult to pin down exact numbers due to its rarity, it's estimated that the syndrome affects fewer than one in a million people globally. It's not restricted by geographic location or ethnicity showing its presence across the globe. The onset typically occurs in the 40s or 50s, and both men and women can be affected. Though rare, it's a condition that impacts people worldwide. The incidence of Fars syndrome might surprise you. This rare neurological disorder doesn't play favorites. It affects people indiscriminately. Its incidence rate is relatively low, making it a rare gem in the neurological disorder spectrum. But what about the gender ratio, you ask? Well, it's a tie. Fars syndrome doesn't show any gender bias. It can affect men and women equally. This means that, regardless of being a man or a woman, the risk is the same. This disorder doesn't discriminate it affects both genders. Living with Fars syndrome is challenging, but not impossible. This rare neurological disorder currently has no cure, but that doesn't mean individuals cannot manage their symptoms effectively. Survival rates are not explicitly defined due to its varying nature. 
but the emphasis is placed on improving the quality of life. Management strategies involve a combination of medication, physical therapy, and a supportive network of health professionals and loved ones. The focus is on controlling symptoms and maximizing the individual's independence and functionality. Despite its challenges, people with FARS syndrome can still lead meaningful lives. FARS syndrome, a rare brain disorder, is more than just a medical term. It's a reality that affects individuals around the world marked by unique challenges and resilience. We've touched upon its definition, diagnosis and symptoms, delving into its epidemiology, incidence rate and gender ratio. We've also explored survival and management strategies, emphasizing the importance of symptom control. FARS syndrome remains a field of active research with clinical trials paving the way for potential breakthroughs. Understanding FARS syndrome is the first step in supporting those living with this condition. Like, share and subscribe.